grace of Yahweh, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. I have laid the foundation and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. For, for other foundation can no man uh, lay than that which is laid, which is Yahshua the Messiah. So, but uh, there is a place, of course, uh, when you go to James, what is it, uh, two and about uh, 12 or 16 or further down there? It, uh, and then it says, every man's work, the 13th verse there in 1 Corinthians, every man's work shall be made manifest. So it must be somebody working, <laughs> but we're, it's not the works of the law. Uh, yeah, is this what you want faith yeah the 14th works? verse yeah what does it profit my brethren though a man say he has faith and have not works mm -hmm. can faith save him see uh if a if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food and one say oh depart in peace be ye warmed and filled notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body what doth it profit mm -hmm. even so faith if it hath not works is yeah. dead Bad. being dead being alone mm -hmm. yea a man may say thou hast faith and i have works show me thy faith without thy works and i will show thee my faith by my works uh, thou believest that there is one Yahweh, one Elohim, thou doest well. Demons mm -hmm. also, also believe, believe and tremble. And tremble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it almost sounds like a contradiction, doesn't it, though? No, it but, doesn't. It's because you where, have this spirit operating but, in you. Is You're but, working. You're walking a different way. You're making, I mean, you see people getting on planes, going around the world on their own account to preach yeah. this gospel. Yeah. But you gotta have faith in something. They're not doing it because everybody comes back and gives you a clap on the back and fills your pocket with money. Yeah, you read about that. Uh, yeah, that's right. And it says, but yeah. wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? And it says, was not Abraham our father justified by works? Now he believed Yahweh was kind for righteous, but he still offered up his son when Yahweh told him, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when he had offered up Isaac his son upon the altar, seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect? Mm -hmm. And it says, and the scripture was fulfilled, which saith Abraham believed Yahweh and was counted him for righteousness. Mm -hmm. uh, now, then 24 says, ye see how then that by works a man is justified and not yeah, by, by faith, faith only. Then he brings in Rahab. <laughs> Likewise, also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? Mm -hmm. Now it says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, mm -hmm. so faith without works is dead also. Right. So, you know, people say, I, I believe in, I have faith, you understand? And then don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Don't believe Yahshua. Is that really having faith? Mm -hmm. Right. And so I'll tell you, the like... thing with the COVID, the thing that I wasn't you know, really aware of this, but there are people who after the COVID, they, they, they had to stay home and work at home. But after the work called them back, they came back and they're still doing their physical, natural work. Now, there's people in class, they're going to work, but they don't go to class because, oh, I'm afraid of COVID. Well, well wait a moment. You know, you, you'll go and you'll get a physical dollar, but you won't go and sit down and encourage the school. You know, you got your faith, but where's your work? Put your clothes on, put your mask on, go down there and help somebody. Right, that's a good point. I think. Yeah, it's not the works of the law because he's uh, right, in, uh, right, right. In uh, uh, Titus three and five, it says, "Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but by His mercy as He saved us, with right. the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit." And then it has a couple other things there. I, I can't remember all the other verses there, but That's right. there, there's a couple other ones after that uh, in, in Titus 3, 6, and 7. Uh, 
but but it said but that's what he means not by works of righteous which we have done it ain't about them keeping them things of the old covenant see yeah. but by his mercy hath he saved us with the washing regeneration renewing the whole spirit which he shed on us abundantly through Yahshua Messiah our savior that being justified by his grace we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Where are we reading? Titus that was 3. Titus 3, uh, 5 uh, through 7 there. Mm -hmm. And it says, this is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in Yahshua might be careful to maintain good works. Uh-oh. Right. These things are good and profitable unto men. Mm -hmm. See? <clears throat> So you see, there is these, you do have these things, but the grace or the Holy Spirit is, it's him working through you. You understand? And, and you're doing it so that another soul can see and understand. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what it's about. You're trying to help souls out. They're not working because say, okay, I see, look at my works. Look at the salvation I've done, save myself. You understand? No. <laughs> right. No, no right. we believed him. He helped us out. And now if you've been sealed with the Holy Spirit, you're going to try to help somebody else receive the Holy That's Spirit. That's right. That's right. You understand? May I make a comment? Then you finish, Frank. Go ahead. Um, uh, the founder has a, a, a transcript called Faith. Mm -hmm. And he said, faith is a work. Now, when you read that faith is the work that he said that, because when I read it, I said, what? I mean, you know, he has a lot of stuff in that transcript. But uh, we, under this new covenant, with the if you're a true recipient of the Holy Spirit, we yeah. know that we know that that work that is done, like um, we give money to the school. We don't give money for salvation. We give money to pay the rent so that others can come and hear the gospel, right. you see, preach. So this is a work, a spiritual work in a sense, because uh, we're, 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 our main goal is to preach the gospel of Yahshua the Messiah, right. you see. Now, um, uh, I'm sure there's more to that, but I just wanted to mention that. Can I say something? Yeah. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say that, um, you know, like the church will say, like, donate money, give a tithe, give a, you know, do some common, uh, you know, let's do a Christmas thing. And it usually has to do, it comes down to money. Yeah. And, you know, spreading the, the spreading the word of Jesus in a way that, you know, they're saying things like, you know, first of all, the Christmas thing, that's not his birthday. And Easter, it's not his, uh, it's, there's nothing to do with rabbits laying eggs mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And in other words, the things that they try to get you to do that are works, they're tied into either lies or things that were given to the Jews and Jews only. And those, they, those are like works that are they were only given to the Jews and Jews only. And even the Jews aren't supposed to do those works uh, mm -hmm. because in this age, we don't do that, right? But the things that we do, we do them because we believe in the truth and the truth is provable, right? Is that pretty much it? So, you know, like, so if we do something like donate money, it's to spread the gospel of Yahshua, the Messiah. If we come and help set up chairs, it's to have a place to meet so we can preach that gospel. Right. So those type of things, you know, if we go and visit some brethren, it's to, you know, fellowship under the name of Yahshua, the Messiah and the truth and the saving of the soul. And one of the things I want, well, I don't want, okay. So then I have something to say later. So that's all I was going to say about that. Praise Yahshua. Well, you, yeah, yeah. I, I would say this too. Uh, Romans, the tenth chapter, says, "My heart's desire and prayer for Israel is that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. I, 
for I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. and, that, uh, and that's the way it is before you be taught by the Holy Spirit. And how we learned all these things, we had to research. That's really kind of a work, if you know what I mean. That's, right. that's you true. Had, you had to go and read the LOM book, read transcripts, check them things out in the Bible, look up the scriptures on the, under the aims and all kinds yes, of things. Sir. You, we just don't have this knowledge by just, uh, okay, it popped in our head. You understand? No, <laughs> we had to research and go down to class and learn these mm -hmm. things and then go back and check it out. Just like it says in Acts uh, 17 and mm -hmm. 10, that the Bereans were more noble than in Thessalonica because they, they received the word with all readiness of mind and yes, searched sir. the scriptures daily, whether those things are so. They had to do that's so. right. That's, you know, they, they, uh, that's why them Thessalonians were all out of shape. That's why he had to write do second Thessalonians because they didn't understand first one. <laughs> Even because hey, you got that's somebody right. saying you're gonna be caught up in the air every time they seen somebody high up in the air, they fell down and died. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so that rapture messed them up. He said that's why they had second Thessalonians, and it ain't rapture, it's right. just what's written there in first. Thessalonians 4 and they don't know how to explain that neither they don't have you don't have a pattern you can't explain these things you, you're just reading the bible and saying I think it's things I, I think it says look how that says that church the bible mm -hmm. says this church you understand don't even know what the church is you read the scripture mean. today Yahshua Messiah is the head of the church mm -hmm. and they done got their head done went off and gonna come back <laughs> you know can you live without your head I'll say no, no. They ain't got their head gone and they're waiting for him to come back. Product showing that they're dead. Yeah. yeah. And he's the head of the church there. Mm -hmm. So Romans 10 and 1 says, My heart's desire and prayer for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record, they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. For they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness, which is Yahshua the Messiah, the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, go about to establish their own righteousness. Mm -hmm. and have not submitted themselves into the rights of Yahweh. That means mm -hmm. believing in Yahshua the Messiah and seeing mm -hmm. that he's your salvation. And then it says, for the Messiah is the end of the law mm -hmm. for righteousness sake to That's everyone right. that believeth." Right. In other words, he ended it as far right. as that law is concerned of works. That, that was the dispensation of works, that fourth dispensation. And now, since he got rid of that, it's now the age of grace. Mm -hmm. So he changed the season. They were dead and buried under the law. And they were dead from the fall of Adam. And they were buried under them carnal ordinance. And that's why John the Baptist is burying the dead Jews. Because they're confessing their sins and they're dead. So that's what water baptism is, is a water burial. Right. Mm -hmm. They confess them the waves of sin is death. They're confessing their sins and he buries them down in the water. That's a burial. See, so when Yahshua Messiah resurrects, see, he ascends and pours out the Holy Spirit. Now the baptism is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's see? right. And people don't know that. So they were repenting. Uh, it was a baptism of repentance. Mm -hmm. But now the Holy Spirit is what uh, turns you around. And changes you see i received him yeshua and so now it's about uh the a holy spirit working yes. through you and so uh and so there are and so you just can't say oh i got the holy spirit believe me and you ain't and you and you ain't and you don't know nothing how's that right you, right you understand you ask questions and you don't get no answers how's the holy spirit don't know you understand right. now, dr kinley did say that you can be born of the spirit don't mean you know everything right okay you right. can be wrong about something that's then right when the holy spirit corrects you with the scriptures and you receive the correction you grow in grace that's right right, right. so uh and i thought that was a beautiful way he put yes, that indeed. and so yeah. even in the yeah. transcript he did talk about people being bastards mm -hmm. and the reason they're bastards because you don't receive the chastisement from the holy spirit the holy spirit's correcting you showing you that, that you've been taught wrong you don't know that you don't know you know that's something else when you don't know that you don't know now that's Except true when i came in the class i was so messed up i knew i didn't know i know me too <laughs> i just knew that this knowledge was 
I ain't never heard nothing like this. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, but we all have to come the same way. You understand? You have to come and learn the name and you understand and understand and see that that is the only name and never could be no other name. You understand? And mm-hmm. that the devil done went into the Bible and changed his name and got the world believing that stuff. And then you got other you. stuff to learn. So there's Tracy. a lot to learn there. Tracy, Tracy still on? Yeah, she said, um, she said, can someone please tell me the scripture? What scripture, Tracy? The one that they were just saying? I heard it was First Thessalonians, but I didn't get the rest. Oh, Frank. No, we were, uh, I might. I don't you was know talking what, about Thessalonians the sec. That's the reason why Second Thessalonians was written. Maybe that's what she's talking about. Is that what you well, were talking about? Well, first, what we were doing is we were doing Acts 17, verse 10, mm-hmm. where it says that the brethren in Berea were more noble than them in Thessalonica because mm-hmm. they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So they're checking the things out. They're checking out what the Holy Spirit's teaching them. You understand? That, that's doing some work. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because they want to know for themselves. They want to make sure they ain't being lied to. Mm-hmm. Right. And, uh, and, yes. and so, Thank you. yeah. And then, so what Dr. Kinley taught one time, he go to, you know, how First Thessalonians 4 and 16 <laughs> down there, that's what they call the so-called rapture. He said them people were so troubled at that. And, and one reason they're troubled because they did search the scriptures. Mm-hmm. <laughs> daily whether those things were so but anyway there they they uh he said that's why he he wrote second thessalonians right he said he said I, 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 to try to comfort them because they did not understand first thessalonians right. and did you you would never man would have to have the holy spirit to say that and to teach that to us because a lot of times we don't know why people are doing things and yeah. writing things in the Bible there. Yeah, you know? Troubled. Yeah. He tells them that in Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, I think, about mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And he also said to you who are troubled. Right. And there's a lot of people troubled. Rest, yep. with, us. Rest with us when this tr- this world, there's a lot of things happening that'll trouble you. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 them lying ministers are troubling you. Yeah. <laughs> it says, if you are troubled, that's second Thessalonians 1 7. You are troubled, rest with rest. us. Because mm-hmm. Yahshua did all the work. Yes. Rest with but us. Tell when Yahshua scripture was shot, is. Huh? But tell her where that scripture is. First Thessalonians 1 and 7. It's second Thessalonians 1 7. Second. And to you are troubled, rest with us. When Yahshua Messiah shall be from, revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And you can be one of them, see? Yeah. Uh, in mm-hmm. flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh mm-hmm. and that obey not the gospel of our Savior, Yahshua Messiah. Mm-hmm. See, you don't want to know Yahweh, he'll take mm-hmm. flaming vengeance on you. Mm-hmm. He ain't coming back being nice and happy with you. Right. And if you don't obey the gospel, you don't, you don't preach the gospel after it's been told to you the right way, you understand, then you got a killing coming. Uh, it said, yeah. "You shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of Yahweh." Let's see, can I say something? Sure. I don't know if you want to keep it recorded, Lenore, but that's up to you. Okay. Well, somebody used to, somebody uh, in regards to uh, many shall come in my name and deceive many. That's right. in uh, you know, um, they kind of were telling me it was somebody in class and they kind of looked at it as us and 